Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It's your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a 2021 addition to the IWC model line. This is the Pilot's Watch Chronograph 41, reference 3881-01 in stainless steel. It was part of an initiative to take the Pilot's Watch Chronograph back to the scale that a lot of enthusiasts remember from the 1990s, a more wearable, approachable pilot's watch chronograph. And so it's 41 millimeters in diameter. The timepiece measures a reasonable 14.7 millimeters thick. It's 51.7 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a versatile 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll zoom out, throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, and I'm going to advise that you consider this to be a fairly large 41. Think of it as more of a 43. And a lot of that's down to those long arcing lugs at nearly 42 millimeters from lug to lug. You can see this watch is out to the edge of a 16 centimeter wrist, which is sort of the no-go zone for size. If the lugs overlap the end, I always say no-go. So recommended for watches my size or larger, 16 centimeter circumference and up, no smaller. It has a stepped case flank, so while it might not fit underneath the tightest of dress sleeves, you're probably fine for a jacket cuff. Let's do a quick take look at the strap. The strap is aviator style, calfskin with a contrasting stitch, thick cut. You can see it's sheer cut on its side to show you the layers of leather. Brand new calfskin on the bottom. You can see it's an IWC factory strap. And it's a matte finished dark blue on the top with an IWC polished and satinated pin buckle that is IWC branded. The case will be familiar to IWC Pilots Watch fans. IWC Pilots Watch is almost regardless of size. Use these graceful tapered lugs and integrated lug case profile. It's satinated in profile. It has a little polished expanding bevel on the edges of the lugs. There's a sort of circular graining that goes across the top of the lugs as well as the edge of the case. The bezel is stepped in from the case band to create the impression of a thinner watch. It has a short vertical satinated step and then an angular profile. We have polishing used almost as jewelry, as accenting on the bevel, on the bezel, on the shoulders and the chronograph pushers, and on the crown. Here we have a screw-down crown with the IWC motto Probus Scafusia. Thanks to the screw-down crown and a screwed-in case back and more advanced case seals, the IWC Pilot's Watch chronograph is now 100 meters water resistant. The watch also has resistance against instantaneous decompression of an aircraft cabin, which means if you do lose pressure in your aircraft cabin, the crystals and the seals are specially secured so they won't blow out. Unnecessary, perhaps, but luxury is often about getting more than you need. The watch is well loomed, as you can see. It's loomed at the four corners, as are the oversized broadsword hands that indicate the hours and minutes. We have smaller broadsword hands for the running seconds, chronograph hours, and chronograph minutes. There's a polished lancet-style counterweighted seconds hand for the chronograph. And then we have a couple of subsidiary setting modes, the first of which is hacking seconds. So now I've stopped the watch, and I can set it against a reference time. I also have a double quick set system for the date as well as the day, so I can rapidly adjust my calendar flip it all over. We have IWC caliber. Notice I didn't say IWC manufacturer caliber 69385. This is a movement designed by Richemont's Valfleurier movement factory. So as with ETA making exclusive movements for Omega, this is part of the larger group. Now, a couple of different brands do use this movement, but here it's uniquely finished for an IWC application. It is a automatic wander with a 46-hour power reserve. It's built as a drop-in replacement for the 7750, so it has a column wheel, another upgrade over the 7750 that makes for a nice crisp actuation. It beats away at 4 hertz, pivots on 33 joules. It's adjusted in five positions, which is surprising because that's a high horology and chronometer standard, but you can see this is five position adjusted. One of the best features of the 7750 is is retained, and that's the use of a oscillating pinion. You can see it through this little skeletonization moving back and forth. That's a very fine-toothed lateral clutch system that often produces as little extraneous hand motion as a vertical clutch. You can see as I press and hold, it generally just engages without additional play. It's a very precise way of building a lateral clutch, and it's something that a lot of upscale chronographs use from brands like FP Journe, precisely because it does combine the 
beauty of a lateral clutch and the tradition of a lateral clutch with a lot of the precision of a vertical clutch. So you can see the movement is attractively finished, mechanically to be sure, but attractively to the point that it definitely merits this display case back. And then I'm also going to shout out the feel of the column wheel. The feel and the sound are tremendous. We also have IWC's latest quick release strap system, which I like because the quick release is housed entirely inside of the strap itself. Now, this is easier to do when you're not staring at the watch through a rangefinder. Let me just look at the watch rather than staring through the rangefinder here. You just push it down and it releases. Now, why is this important? It's important because the mechanism is in the strap. So you can still use a conventional 20 millimeter strap here and get an aftermarket strap to fit. It's not like a lot of previous systems, including those from IWC, that required you to use a proprietary strap to work with a quick release system that was only compatible with the brand's own straps. So this is a very flexible system. You get conventional lugs and spring bars, but if you st stick with the IWC straps, you get a very convenient quick release system. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.